Hi, I'm Brian Jackson with ITBusiness.ca. I'm here with David Alston, the Vice President of Marketing with Radiant 6, and uh, he was doing the keynote here at the Visibility Conference. I just wanted to ask you a couple follow-up questions. You know, sure. Facebook is going through a lot of privacy uh, questions lately, people wondering if it's really respecting users' information. Mm -hmm. For the brands that are getting on Facebook and using it to promote their brand and engage in the community, is there a risk that they will be perceived now as not respecting privacy as well, just as a result of what's going on with Facebook? Um, well, I think any time that, um, regardless of whether there's like uh, privacy issues or not, um, any conversation that's happening on the social web, uh, a company also has to always has to look to see, you know, really, you know, is that a, a conversation between two people? Or is that, is that an invitation that I can actually help out uh, in kind of adding to the conversation? It'd be no different than you and I talking and someone up com coming along and just like barging in on it. If it looks like we're having a kind of a general conversation and we happen to notice that the, the person's there with us and that person's comments, we're okay with that, right? Um, because we know that that is kind of in a public forum, like we're standing out here. It's not a private kind of thing. Um, so I think it, it's, it's, um, it's up to each, each corporation to always use better judgment when it comes to that kind of thing. Uh, I think in a lot of cases, um, from all my experience, whenever, um, a, uh, a customer prospect or whatever has a question and they're really trying to solve something or they're, they're frustrated about something and they're kind of uh, getting some, letting off some steam, 99% of the time they really appreciate when the company kind of drops by and doesn't barge in but says, hey, I just hear you having trouble, I'm here to help, you know, that kind of thing. And most of the time they're like, whoa, that's really, I really appreciate that. And it was, wow, that, that was so cool that they actually reached out to me. So, sure. you know, again, it, it, you always have to use your head. Uh, regardless of, of where you're at and where we're having the conversation, but I think uh, um, I think for the most part, companies really can gain a lot by being part of those conversations. Okay, definitely. Yeah. Because this is something that we're doing too at IT World. We have our own Facebook community pages, yeah. and I was just wondering lately: is some of this backlash against Facebook because of their privacy issues? You know, is there a danger that? Um, that could reflect on us badly for for using Facebook to have our, those conversations. Um, well, I think um, if there is some, some some concern, like on your part, or in case of a company that's that's not quite sure, is it? I'd have that conversation right on your page. Ask that question. Ask your community. I mean. Is this a concern? You know, um, bring out the issues. Point to the the articles that are covering that. Whether you guys have covered it or someone else has covered it, point to that and say, "What do you guys think? You know, what is that? Is this? A, does this affect how we work with you? Um, should we do stuff that's a little bit different uh, in terms of should we declare this is like this stream is a public stream and this stream is a private stream or whatever? Like literally, take it to the community. I mean, there's you can't you can't lose when you do that because you're going to get the feedback and it's out in public on your Facebook. Great uh, great topic to address. Especially with you guys, because right. that's, so, that's a very valid just, topic. Just ask the question. Yeah, see, sure. See how people feel. Exactly. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. Now, during your keynote, you were addressing lots of different brands that have had good success with social media marketing mm -hmm. techniques, but I was wondering, is there ever a case when a brand should not be involved in social media? If a brand's unprepared um, for, again, Assume it again, assume it's a, com just let's pick a conversation, let's start small. If there's a conversation and you kind of stumble right into it and you're not prepared to either follow up, do something about it, um, you know, if you address, if you're listening and people know you're listening um, in social media and, and you just kind of shut off for a week or two weeks because you don't have the infrastructure, you don't have the people in place, I think you're going to do yourself a lot of damage because, you know, people expect that when you start listening and you're there for them, uh, that you're going to be there going forward. And much like if you, you, you wouldn't get a phone and get an 800 number, publish that on all your brochures, and then you know do it for the campaign, and knowing that those brochures are going to still be out there for well, forever, and then go, well, you know, we're done. Let's just shut the phone off. You would never do that because that would be shutting off communication, and people would be very frustrated with that. So I think when it comes down to it, when companies do do get into social media, and I, I strongly suggest that most consider this because it is another channel that customers want to talk to them on. So it's not one of, let's just delay it for years until we decide. But when you do go in and go with them with the eyes open, 
be prepared, be willing to put the resources behind it, much like you would any other communications channel. And when you do that, then I think you know basically any company can benefit from communication with customers. Well, that's great. Thanks so much for your time. Ain't no problem.